Welcome back to Flint's Collectibles. Today we're going to do a full read through and review of Paper Girls Book One. If you enjoy the content, please be sure to go down below and like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Let's go ahead and dig in. All right, so here's the front of the book. As you can tell, bright pink with like foil kind of looking lettering. I don't know if I can catch that on the camera. And then as you can see, this is like matte in the background and then all the, like the pterodactyl and the girls are in like a glossy look. And then here's the spine, just like the rest of the image books we've read on here. And here's the back of the book with all this crazy artwork and the same thing matted with like a glossy mist to all the things like the planes and the creatures and the people. And it does have a price of $34.99. So let's go ahead and dig it. Right off the bat as we open the book, it does have this like yellow with pinkish like fade to it. And then there's Paper Girls logo in pink with yellow background. And here's the opening. Writer Brian Gone. Cliff Chang is the artist. Colors Matt Wilson. Letters Jared Fletcher. And there's the four girls. And then we start out with one of the girls in outer space. She's having this crazy thing happen that will be explained later on in the book and is actually ends up being a dream that the girl's having. And then we get introduced to the first character. And each of the girls is a paper girl and they're delivering papers on Halloween. So we come to find out who each one of them is and their names. And how someone keeps taking their stuff and then they're going around chasing them, trying to find out where their stuff went. And they're just normal girls. It kind of has the feel of like Stranger Things in a way. So there's four boys in that movie, but they're not paper boys. But this one's paper girls. And it's just them going through, trying to figure out where their stuff is. And they end up coming across this machine that they don't know what it is. So they're trying to figure out what that is. And then in the time that that happens, you see the thing fires up and they're like, what is going on and then all of a sudden they go outside after they run and as you can see that they're just the sky looks different and everything and then there's those guys again that they're trying to track down and they don't speak like regular language it's something you can't even read on the pages what they're saying and there's one of them unmasked so they're just trying to figure out what's going on where they are and then they got an Apple device that we're trying to figure out. So then we go into chapter two. And then chapter two continues on where we left off right there. And here's one of those guys that took their stuff. So they're going back to one of their houses, trying to figure out what's going on, trying to come together and figure out what's happening and where they are and what this device has to do with anything. And they keep running across people, which is kind of funny, that's a Guns N' Roses shirt. So here's them interacting with one of the boys and then there's these pterodactyls in the sky and they're all flying around. So they're all working and trying to take, find a safe place to go. And then it come into one of their parents' house. So for she's like drinking and thinking about killing herself and then she doesn't and then bang as she saves her. So we find out what happens next. There's this big portal in the sky now and now these other people in town are seeing what's going on and they're just all trying to figure out what's happening. Like what in the world is this pterodactyl thing and this guy that was riding it. And that guy's talking to somebody and they find out that instead of the mom getting shot, one of the girls gets shot and then she falls on the ground. So then they're trying to help her. They don't know how to drive and they're driving and they're taking her away. And then here's these guys that we saw earlier. And then here's the girl that's got shot. 
what's going on in her head right now as she's like drifting in and out because she's lost so much blood and this guy is here to try to help them trying to take them with him and he ends up getting shot right in the head and killed and here's these other guys that are in these crazy outfits and they change their voice and say we're teenagers so they're just like who in the world are these guys and then we continue chapter four and it starts out with this guy who's to me he's like kind of like a hippy dippy kind of guy it's all chill and relax and these people that are on the ride the pterodactyls are talking to him and you find out that he's somebody like real important on a bigger mission than you can tell and so they're these guys are taking them with her trying to save the girl and they're in the sewer and they're talking and they're fighting these creatures keep popping up like that one and one guy ends up getting shot and they're trying to get her away and then this is a a panel of different things going on at the same time pretty cool and then here's one of the girls save another girl from this creature these guys are just trying to get them away from all this and so are safe so they're taking them into like this machine like they saw earlier and they say no we can only take her inside with us and then boom they're gone so they're like where's our friend and where they go and then here's these other people trying to catch them and then we go to the next chapter and then she wakes up and they're in this big old warehouse and she's got all these things on her that are healing her and these guys are kind of explaining what's going on how why they were there and what they're looking for I'm going to continue on now the other girls are having to fight off these people on these pterodactyls and they're fighting them and then this guy is talking to them and he's now you see him with all these different people and you're wondering well who's this guy what's he got to go on to there's these crazy visions going on and then there's these guys that are saving her and they end up sacrificing their life to save her and get her back to her friends. So then she's back with her friends and then now this guy showing up and they're taking an examination of what's going on and what to do next. And the girls end up jumping again in that ship. Except for now, their friend that they just, is, one of their friends is gone. And then now this girl shows up and you find out that it's one of the girls, but she's an older version. So then it continues on to her taking them with her. And then it shows like when they first meet and then they're figuring out who each other are. And, and then she's the younger version of this girl. And they both have the same scar from getting shot when they got healed by that thing. So that's how she knows they're not just making something up. And then here's this guy again. And they're just really trying to figure out what's going on. And they're so confused. And this girl's all, this older version of herself is all stressed out. And she's living a life that's pretty rough and, she, and she's just getting by. And then this person shows up, completely vaporizes that guy. And now she looks like the girl that there's a younger version and then there's the older version. So now they're trying to figure out what this Apple device does and what it is. So now we go to the next chapter. This starts out with another person meeting up with this girl that we just saw. They just blasted that guy. And here's them still trying to figure out what's going on with this 
device and then she finds out that she's taking like Xanax and she's real depressed and how she's just getting by and she's super stressed out. And then we're also the same time with this girl trying to run from that creature. <laughs> There's another one fighting each other and she's saying you need to hurry and get out of here. So she's ran up to this Uber driver and then Here's uh, young Aaron and older Aaron both talking and they're just talking to each other and she's real happy with her younger version and how she's doing because she's obviously doing pretty rough and the girls are trying to go to another friend's house to hide out and they find out that that person's not alive no more and that she ends up dying from um, I think it's leukemia or lung cancer or I think it's leukemia. Yeah, leukemia. So then she's freaking out because now she sees herself as death to look what that image is from. And then we go to the next one. And then here's them in, inside of an abandoned mall trying to find their friends. And then these two girls are out riding around and a bunch of police drive by and they find out they're trying to get to this creature. And there's that girl that blasted that guy earlier. And she's like, you gotta hurry and get out of here. And the police are going toward that person. And this is kind of, this is kind of a cool like throwback to this KB toys like the old toy store so they're trying to go in there because there's something that they need so well, the other girls are trying to find them they end up coming across this creature which then now they run into this other Aaron but they don't know who she is yet then they end up finding this hockey stick up in the ceiling that older Aaron pulls down and it says don't trust other Aaron so then she's like well which one which she knows the older version and then it starts out with this girl now she's helping them fight off this creature while they're trying to figure out what's up with this hockey stick and the other side says get to the fourth folding now so they're like I don't know what's going on and then there's this creature that ends up eating Part of that that they got the note and then here's a girl with the red backpack again trying to help save the day they end up driving this creature to kill it and then they end up talking and then now here's another person flying over the whole situation in a helicopter and then now there's this big old like, blimp looking thing like Zephyr and now these people are trying to figure out who each other are and which one's which. And this girl ends up, ends up glowing and then she opens up a portal and she wants them to go through to where they are. But they find out that she's one of the uh, futuristic Aaron, I guess, what do you would say? So they're trying to figure out what's going on. Then now we're inside the blimp and that's where this guy is at with his people trying to catch these girls at the same time. And then this girl gets tired of the situation so she ends up blasting the older version of Aaron. And then they're like, no, we're not going with this girl. So they end up getting into a fight and they end up pushing her into the portal. And then they end up saving older Aaron. And then here's one of Aaron's friends in the helicopter that's coming to save her. And she's like, oh my gosh, she's like the little version of you. While these guys on third axles are just picking up people and then storing them. So now they took the right side because they didn't trust the one Aaron that was bad. So now they're all trying to figure out what their next plan is. And their plan is to, there's a portal open, but they gotta fly up and jump to it. So as the creatures take over this helicopter, they jump through this portal 
and now they're in a different place, which looks all peaceful. And there's their other friend. And she says, you made it. She says, I just got here. And while the other three girls are like, well, how's that possible? And then it says, we're alive and to be continued. So now the art gallery. So there's Aaron, KJ, Mac, and Tiffany. That's some cool artwork. Here's a teaser art. It's like some different covers. Some Comic Cons, and here's a postcard. There's a college sketch prizes. And a promotional sketch. This is kind of cool. It's like just the cover, how they did it differently, and ended up coming with the last design for the book. And then these are like different rough sketches of the actual comic covers. Well, some more rough sketches. And then there's some sketch work. And then, let's see if I can find it. Now, here's the creators. I think it's cool because it's like Brian and then it says like Halloween costume, homemade Spider-Man symbiote suit. And then Cliff, it says favorite NES game, Contra, Double Dribble, and Metal Gear. And then Matt, favorite toys, Battle Beast, Mass, the Centurions, G.I. Joe, and Team and Team. Jerry, favorite Lego set, Space, Monorail. Transport system 6990. Just cool, like pictures of the craters as kids and then like their different activities and stuff like that. I thought that was a cool added into the book. And then here's the last page. And then there we go. Alright, well, there it is. Paper Girls Book One. My final thoughts have to be that I really enjoyed the story. I actually started reading this because I watched the Amazon Prime show. And I really enjoyed it. It wasn't like compared to Stranger Things, which is like four boys, like I said earlier. It was four girls and they were paper girls, but I wanted to give it a shot and I enjoyed the show to watch. I have to say though, I really enjoy the book more. The story kind of follows a different path, kind of, and just some differences in the two. And I really enjoyed it. The book just really easy to read and it's real cool to see the different stories of the girls and i can't wait to see like what book two has because i have not read it and just to figure out who the guy is that's like the hippie type dude and the big old like balloon thing in the sky and just like what's the story behind the different versions of the different girls and different timelines and different foldings and what's going to happen next and because there are some things in the show in season one that wasn't in book one so i'm kind of curious to see if those are in book two or, or even book three i think there's three books but in my opinion i definitely recommend to read this book if you enjoy it. it's just an easy read fun it's like 80s i think type of atmosphere so I highly recommend it and until next time, peace.